Today we are visiting one of the most iconic communities in all of Los Angeles. It's known for movies, celebrities, red carpet VIP treatments, luxury living. This town was literally born out of the entertainment industry. Today we're visiting the beautiful city of Studio City. In fact, you guys can see Universal Studios Hollywood right down there. So sit back, relax, and let's have a great time. Hey guys, so in the intro, I stated that Studio City was created out of the entertainment industry. Behind me, you see what's called Bradford Studio Center. Usually, it used to be called CBS Studio Center. But in the 1920s, these studios were created by Max Sennett. Now, Max Sennett was one of the pioneers of Studio City. He was a studio head who had his studios in the Glendale area, and he moved them to this remote location. And he was so successful producing films with Charlie Chaplin, Keystone Cops, and many others that it evolved to calling this area Studio City. In fact, it's one of the perks of living in this uh, location in Studio City is that you are close to a lot of the top studios, NBC Studio, Disney Studios, Warner Brothers, Paramount Studios. They're all within 15 minutes away from uh, Studio City. In fact, as you drive around, you can uh, see, you can feel the eclectic energy or artistic uh, vibe of, of the community. And it's because a lot of the people that live in this community are people that work in the entertainment industry. And you're only about probably 10 minutes away from Hollywood. Uh, so that's another big reason why this whole area is highly sought after. So just wanted to share this location with you guys because this is a part of the reason that this town evolved into Studio City. So let's go check out some more places. Studio City does have some of the most sought after communities in all of Los Angeles. Prices can range from $1.2 million, which is sort of the fixer uppers, all the way up to $10, $12 million, which are some of the high end estates up here in the hills. As far as the architectures that you'll find, you'll find mid-century modern or the rustic farms or the Cape Cods or even the old style, old Spanish styles. Plus you see a lot of the modern custom luxury. So today we're checking all of them out. Let's go. Hey guys, so I want to highlight some of the, uh, the best uh, areas within Studio City, some of the, most, the ones that are mostly 
uh, coveted by people. I, I guess the top one would be Prime and Estates. These are large, large properties on the hill. Um, and they can go anywhere between half an acre all the way up to two, three, four acres. And uh, these properties, as far as price, can range anywhere between as low as $3 million all the way up to $12 million. Another sought after area within Studio City is the hills of Studio City. And a lot of the, the reason why people like this remote area is because you're probably going to get some of the best views of both either the canyon or uh, the city views. And homes there can range anywhere between two to five million dollars. Um, another great pocket is called uh, the Silver Triangle. And this is a pocket that's adjacent to both Laurel Canyon and Ventura Boulevard. Both uh, uh, streets uh, are well known in the remote area and, and have a lot of good restaurants, entertainment. So that's why people enjoy that that area. Another great area is Long Ridge Estates. Now this is uh, the air, area that borders uh, Sherman Oaks, also sought after, and homes there can go anywhere between two to five million dollars. As I mentioned early on, guys, Studio City just has a lot of great locations uh, to live, so you're definitely not gonna be disappointed. Hey guys, as you can tell, Studio City does have a lot of quaint, private communities, very quiet, very beautiful. However, as far as uh, the energy, as far as restaurants, they have a, a vibrant, hit places to go. Uh, a lot of great shopping because uh, you're near Ventura Boulevard where you'll find a lot of unique shopping. And nightlife is fantastic. There's a ton of bars in the remote area or places to go out. Uh, some of the, the staples as far as Restaurants, you have Vitello's, which is Italian cuisine. They have a lot of great reviews, so definitely check them out. Uh, another spot, uh, which is uh, seen very cool, is called Firefly. And that's a quaint, more private setting, perfect for couples. Uh, another one that you definitely have to check out is The Front Yard, which is right next to the Garland Hotel. Now they're known for their unique ambiance and their weekend brunches, so you definitely want to check those out um uh, the reality is that studio city has a lot of great restaurants it would take me probably hours to go through all of them uh, but i guess the main point that i'm trying to get across is that if you're thinking of uh coming out here you're gonna have plenty of things to do as far as nightlife a bar that uh seems to be a, a, a neighborhood staple is called black market liquor bar uh, so check them out and uh, yeah so again there's plenty of shopping, plenty of great places to visit and play, great places to go eat. So check them out. Hey guys, if you follow my videos, you know I always try to point out some of the best places to go hiking. Well, Studio City has one of the best ones. It's called Fryman Canyon. It has a lot of uh, wide trails, a lot of trees for shade. Plus it has some of the best views of both the canyon and the city. So check out Fryman Canyon. It's a great place to go hiking. All right, let's go to the next spot.
Guys, I couldn't come to Studio City and not come to one of the classic spots, which is Universal Studios Hollywood and Universal City Walk. So this is a classic place. When I was younger, I lived, I'm a native Angelino. I have a ton of uh, great memories with my parents coming out here. It's a great spot to bring your kids. Also, if you're a little bit older, you probably want to come to City Walk. There's a lot of restaurants, bars, just great places to visit. So come and check it out. Let's go. Hey guys, hope you had fun going over Studio City. It's a wonderful community. I had a lot of fun, hope you guys did too. As I told you in the beginning, if this is your first time in the channel and you wanna know everything about living, eating, having fun in Los Angeles, make sure to hit that subscribe button and, not and hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time we put out another video. And if you're moving to Los Angeles or within Los Angeles, make sure to give me a call, send me a text, email me, do whatever you have to do. If you're moving out here, we have your back. Check out this next great video. It's amazing.